Hey, this is the OC Food Diva. We're in Long Beach, California for the West Coast Barbecue Classic. It's a KCBS sanctioned barbecue competition. Today we're going to be following the Woodshed team and learn a little bit more about their team and follow their cook today. And then hopefully they'll get in the top 10. And uh, let's uh, go in and check them out. Here we're with the Team Woodshed from Orange, California, and this is Patty. So Hi. she's going to tell you about the team. How are you? We actually have two teams today. We have Team Woodshed and we have Sharpener Make Cooking Wood. So we're really excited. Um, they're both really great teams. Right, how are you? So we have, and then with those, so we have two sides for our competition. So Team Woodshed does their own competition items. Sharpener Made does their own competition items. And our family and friends, we do the PC side of it. So there's a whole lot going on. It's very fun. It's very exciting. We love Long Beach. Um, me and my sister, our family is actually from Long Beach. So it's like coming home. So, okay. So we've been following you for a while. Yeah. And I noticed there's some Hawaiian connection. I'm from Hilo. Yay! So tell us so about So our family Hawaii. is from Oahu. I was born in Hawaii. Uh, my, fam my mom was the first one to move out of the island and come to California. Slowly about half of the family uh, has followed her here. Uh, Renee is my cousin. So her mom followed my mom. It was one of the first ones who followed my mom here. And so now we have half a family here, half is still in Hawaii. Okay. So that's so when we first started doing barbecue competitions, this was actually our first competition four years ago. And when we started, we wanted to do something different for people's choice. Um, they're so great at all of the real barbecue items, the brisket, the ribs. I'm not as great at it, so I said, let me do what I know and love and share our family's culture with everybody else. It was kind of hit and miss, and we weren't sure if it was going to work. So when people come to a barbecue competition, they are looking for ribs and brisket. So hopefully we're able to provide something that's a little bit different, that they can get a taste of the island, we use my mom's recipes, and it just adds a little bit of a, a fun side with sharing our culture with everybody. And then where's the PC? Is, are you guys doing some kind of uh, donation to... Uh... Yes, absolutely. So uh, this year marks five years since I lost my husband to leukemia. He's the one who actually started the Sharp Romaine Cooking Wood, and he had a really before where he wanted to go. Unfortunately, um, when we were just starting it, he got leukemia, and he fought for two and a half years, and he lost his battle to it. So we've become very involved with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. So all of our proceeds from all of our PC ticket sales go straight to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society this year, honoring his five-year anniversary, and also honoring his anniversary. My sister and I are climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, so... Our goal is to raise $50,000 for his five years and to do something completely ridiculous and out of the, out of the ordinary for us. So we're just going to go for it and, and do it in his honor. So hopefully you help me. he'll help me get to the top of that mountain, I hope. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yes, thank you. So we're going to enjoy watching her cook today and her all her helpers. Yeah, so we did the, the we wrapped all the cool pork last night. You know how that a process is, so it took a while. So we seasoned it, we wrapped it in tea leaves, we uh, wrapped it in foil above that, and we brought it here, and Brian has been uh, cooking it all night for us. For how many hours did this smoke, Brian? Uh, about 10. About 10 hours. Um, what else are you guys gonna offer for me? So, and then on the, um, on the grill there, the Santa Maria grill, Haas is doing teriyaki beef and teriyaki chicken. Brian is also doing tri-tip with a pit barrel, and then we eat smokes in the pit barrel first, and then he finishes them off on the Santa Maria bread. So we'll be serving that. My sister makes her Hawaiian baked beans, which she's finishing now. And we also made a bunch of rice this morning and brought that over, so. Okay. And then are you guys competing in the bacon and dessert? We categories? actually are. Um, our pit master there, Ed, he uh, found a bacon item that he's doing, so that's a first for us. And Palike, our other team member, he's doing a dessert item that he, I believe he did in the Traeger Grill. Okay, awesome. That's fine. We're participating in everything. We Yay. love it. So thank exciting. you for having us. Thank you, thank you.
since I'm not judging today, um, I'm actually just gonna give kind of my critique on, um, they just did the turn in at 12 o'clock for chicken. So um, I took my first couple bites. As usual, the judge, you don't sit there and eat it all. So you eat, you know, one or two bites to get, you know, the, well first before you bite it, you get the uh, appearance. And it has a beautiful appearance. It's got this like mahogany, outer coating. It's very um, pretty looking. Um, we had a, a, you might have got a shot of the box or the pan, but that's how they kind of set them up. It's like um, rows of, um, two rows of three, six pack, usually because there's, you know, five or six judges tapes. But anyways, so I did my um, first test is my uh, first bite. So the first bite you want to be able to bite through, you want to be able to bite through the, the skin. It was perfect. So sometimes if it's cooked too long or the skin gets a little rubbery, the first bite, the whole skin will come off. And that's kind of like a, eh. um, but this one had a nice uh, bite through skin. Um, the interior is flavored really nicely. You get the nice chicken flavor along with their rub and uh, barbecue sauce. I thought the barbecue sauce was a little too sweet, um, but I love the peppery, um, flavors that came through and that's pretty much it it's a pretty good turn in and I hope they score pretty good on this one pork rib turn in. Let me try it. It's the piece that they would normally not turn in because um, this is the, uh, the end. So um, a little on the dry side. And then it also didn't have um, a nice bite through. It, um, kind of shredded off the bone but I think again it's the end piece so sometimes it dries out or it gets too much heat on the on the end so when they usually turn in for a box they'll pick the ones like toward the middle of the rack and then they'll leave the ends off for you know everybody to eat on the team so but it has a nice flavor it almost has a little bit of Asian. I, get, I catch like a little bit, kind of like a char siu like flavor to it. So there's not a lot of pepper or heat, but it's a little on the sweet side. So, but I actually like it because it kind of reminds me of something that we would get in Hawaii. So, I like it. So hopefully the just like it too.
My favorite category at barbecue competitions is brisket. So it's the last turn in for, well, they also have dessert and bacon, but this is the last uh, major category turn in. So as a judge, I look for, a lot of the pit masters will cut off this little fat cap, but I like when they leave a little bit on because it adds kind of like a buttery flavor to the brisket. And then you also check for um, deadness. So if it hangs usually like that, it's good. If it breaks directly in half, it means it's either too dry or overcooked. Um, and then, you know, and then it kind of gives it a weird texture too. So let's go ahead and try it. It smells delicious. It smells very beefy. It has a good texture. Nice uh, beefy flavor. Not too salty. Not overly sweet. Um, this has got a nice, good beefy flavor. Nothing peppery. Not too spicy. And just right. So I think they're going to do well on this one. This is going to have a good score on it. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Woodshed and Sharp Gourmet Cooking Wood uh, teams. Mostly the Woodshed we were actually uh, focusing on, but you get to see all the little, uh, how they do their chicken, their pork, their pork ribs and brisket. And then uh, also all the proceeds of this long line of people, if you can see, are all waiting for, it's called PC. We call it PC in the barbecue world, but it's People's Choice. And they're selling barbecued, um, like teriyaki chicken, teriyaki beef, uh, tri-tip, um, barbecue beans, rice, uh, pineapple, grilled pineapple. Um, and then uh, as, oh, Kalua Pig, sorry, Kalua Pig my favorite uh, item of the day here, which is uh, Patty's yeah. mom's recipe. Uh, and the tea leaf is the key that makes the, the pork taste really great. But anyway, so all the proceeds from the selling of the PC today goes to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So I will put a link to that um, on the bottom of this video so you can check it out. And uh, if you want to donate, it's great. But hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you at the next event. Mahalo!